Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will learn how to find values of other five trigonometric functions when one trigonometric function is given. You observe this question. In this question, cortex is given as 3 by 4 and they are saying that x lies in third quadrant. Given cortex equal to 3 by 4 and x lies in third quadrant. Now, first I will consider a right angle triangle like this. From the definition of cortex, cortex is defined as adjacent side by opposite side. Here, what is adjacent side? Adjacent side is 3. What is opposite side? Opposite side is 4. Opposite to x is known as opposite side. Opposite to 90 degrees is known as hypotenuse. Cortex is adjacent side by opposite side. Now, we need to find the third side of this right angle triangle. I will use Pythagoras theorem. From Pythagoras theorem, we know that hypotenuse square equal to sum of squares of other two sides. So, AC square, AC square we need to calculate. AC square equal to AB square. AB is 3. So, 3 square is 9. AB square is 9. BC square. BC is 4. BC square is 16. So, AC square equal to 25. What is AC from this? AC equal to plus or minus 5. But AC is distance between the points. Distance is always positive. So, we take AC equal to 5 only. Now, I got hypotenuse of this right angle triangle. Now, as they mentioned, x lies in third quadrant. x lies in third quadrant. In third quadrant, tan x cortex are positive. We learned this in previous classes. If x lies in third quadrant, tan x cortex are positive. Remaining all trigonometric functions are negative. As we got all sides of right angle triangle, now we can write all these values. Okay, sin x. Sin x is defined as opposite side by hypotenuse. Opposite side is what? 4 divided by hypotenuse is 5. Now it's time to write the sine. Here as they mentioned x lies in third quadrant. In third quadrant tan cot only positive remaining all are negative. So what you say about sin x? In third quadrant sin x is negative. So here we write sin x equal to minus 4 by 5. Now what is cos x? Cos x is defined as adjacent side by hypotenuse. What is adjacent side? Adjacent side is 3 divided by hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is 5. Now it's time to write this sign as x lies in third quadrant. In third quadrant, what is cos x? Cos x is negative. So cos x is minus 3 by 5. Now tan x. Tan x is defined as opposite side by adjacent side. Opposite side is 4 divided by adjacent side is 3. Now, as x lies in third quadrant, tan x is positive. So, here we will write plus sign. Therefore, tan x is 4 by 3 only. Now, cosecant x. Cosecant x is defined as hypotenuse divided by opposite side. Hypotenuse is 5 divided by opposite side. Opposite side is 4. As x lies in third quadrant, in third quadrant, what is cosecant x? Tan x cortex only positive in third quadrant, remaining all are negative. So what is cosecant x? Cosecant x is negative. So cosecant x is minus 5 by 4. Now secant x. Secant x is defined as hypotenuse divided by adjacent side. Hypotenuse is 5 divided by adjacent side. Adjacent side is 3. Now as x lies in third quadrant, in third quadrant secant x is positive or negative? Secant x is negative. Therefore, secant x equal to minus 5 by 3. So, we calculated all other 5 trigonometric functions when one trigonometric function is given and they mentioned x lies in which quadrant.